We all know that hospitals have been stressed to the max during this pandemic, Shiva, with families often finding themselves mired with burdensome medical debt. For many of those families, financial recovery is all but impossible. Yeah, but a national nonprofit with ties to two major Metro Atlanta religious institutions are changing that. Bill List looked at the numbers and was overwhelmed at what's been accomplished. Medical debt for individuals and families can be devastating and can even lead to bankruptcy. But for Terry Logan of Tucker and her family, getting out of that medical debt was a lifesaver. Logan gave birth to her daughter prematurely. She said the bills left over after the insurance kicked in were in the thousands. We're talking about the bills that were over and above what insurance actually paid. And so to see that after you deliver and I'm trying to recover and I'm by myself with this newborn, it was very overwhelming. For Logan, who was a high school teacher, trying to balance the medical bills with all of the other bills that were coming in was enormously stressful. Then she started getting calls from the collection agencies. With the collection phone calls and the aggressiveness that can come with that at times, that did happen. And it's stressful, um, especially when you, like, I'm trying to survive. Recognizing the need to help relieve families often buried in medical debt, Rabbi Sam Kay of the Temple in Atlanta partnered with the Reverend Bronson Woods of Ebenezer Baptist Church and tied the program directly to a national nonprofit, RIP Medical Debt, which already had abolished more than $5 billion in medical debt since 2014, offering to pay a fraction of the total amount of the debt's face value. This debt which is sold from a hospital to a debt collection agency is so massively reduced in price that a dollar can purchase around $100 worth of debt. To make the program work, Rabbi Kay and Reverend Bronson focused on young adults and their congregations. So they've grown up with grandparents and other relatives and friends of and neighbors who have been walking around with this heavy burden. So when the call came, hey, let's do something about it, they came uh, cheering. It was an idea that instantly worked. The reason I'm the most proud of it is that this is a micro donation based campaign. We aren't going to our major donors and asking for large size gifts. We've been asking mostly for small gifts, $18, $20, $100. So far, more than $75,000 has been raised for giving $7.6 million in Metro Atlanta medical debt. The drive will forget all of the debt that we can legally purchase inside of Fulton, Clayton, and DeKalb counties. So what's next? Rabbi Kay says the Medical Debt Forgiveness Project will now go statewide. And what's the reaction? The debt's being really forgiven. And that lifts the weight off your soul. And then it was associated with, you know, a moment in my time, you know, where my child had to be delivered early to save my life. Gratefulness and more gratefulness for the debt being relieved and for my life and for hers. Such a brilliant idea mm -hmm. and the relief is immediate. Bill will be following the efforts of the Temple and Ebenezer Baptist Church as they take the RIP Medical Debt Relief Program into its next phase statewide.